Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Mitch from We in Tennessee. In today's video, um, you know, I had to tell my wife, I said, have you ever gotten to the point where you just get bogged down by everything that you see in the media, on the news, on the internet? And today was one of those days where I just said, you know, when you feel like you've eaten this gigantic meal and you're like, I cannot take any more of it. And that's kind of how I felt with a lot of things going on in Tennessee right now, especially in Nashville, where there's a lot of political things going on. And I don't know, it, it felt weird, guys, because I'm in Tennessee, yet I'm hearing about, you know, storming the Capitol, talking about gun control. And I'm like, where am I? Am I in, back in California again? I don't want this thing swinging the other way where they're now talking about that whole Nashville shooting, talking about, hey, this is somehow payback for all those laws that, you know, that Tennessee was passing. And so that's what kind of just got me to the point where I had to say, God, I'm turning that thing off and I just have to concentrate on God and getting rid of all the stuff that just, I don't know, it's poisoning my mind right now to, to hear about Tennessee and them talking about gun control and doing your job. Hey, they're doing their job to make sure that Tennessee remains free to be able to bear arms and not the silliness about, hey, let's ban assault, you know, type weapons when that's not the case as far as, you know, the evilness. Address it, Tennessee. In fact, I love again the Tennessee and I read this morning about Kentucky passing laws about refusing medical procedures for transgender, um, having laws again about, you know, just protecting kids against just so much craziness again with what's, what's going on with the trans. I am not, you know, and, and they like to twist this around and go, oh, you just hate, you know, the LGBTQ and the trans. And it's, it's not about hate. It's about just, hey, we're going to have our beliefs, and if you have yours, fine. But it's never about hate, and they just love to twist it and go, it's about hate. You hate us. And then, you know, they then they talk about violence and everything like that. It never was like that. Don't turn this story around to make us the bad guys. And so I, you know, I don't, I don't want to go in a million different directions or down a rabbit hole. It's just, you know, when I look at some of these things, I just have to go, God, help there's so much craziness and it gets to the point where i'm like you just start to feel depressed like there's so much woke stuff going on and you know you're just like please and you know this whole thing now about budweiser and their trans you know spokesperson and then i said enough is enough and that's what i think i would encourage you guys to do if you ever get to that point just turn it off and you know and God is saying, hey, when you get to that point, come to me because I'll give you peace. I'll give you a rest. And that's what I had to do this morning. Uh, because, you know, you, you come to Tennessee, you feel like you're going to escape a lot of that craziness from California and New York and all those liberal states. And sometimes it's going to pop its ugly head. And Nashville would be the place where that happens because Nashville and I think parts of Knoxville, you're going to get some of that liberal uh, sides of the state. And so I just have to be careful and go, you know what, I'm just going to do what I need to do as far as um, being the best second grade teacher that I can to my Tennessee students and doing what I can, hopefully here on this channel. And if I have any chance to do this here in Maryville, I will to just stand up for the rights of conservatives, uh, conservative Christians that want to just, you know, I want those values for my family and for my students and being able to just say, you know what, we're not going to mess with any of the CRT. We're not going to mess with any of this trans in libraries, reading to kids, because that's, again, my belief. And I'm going to stick up for that. And if you have your own beliefs that are different than mine, I'm still going to respect you. But we have to draw the line and we have to stick up for what is, you know, what's what do we believe in and what are we not going to allow as far as, you know, beliefs being pushed up against us? And that's, I think, the difference, you know. Um, right now, it just feels like we have a lot of things just shoved in our face and pushed down our throats. 
And I'm like, no, you know, we've never done that. We've never said, hey, believe when what we believe or we're going to, you know, spew hate on you. We're going to have violence. That was never the case. But it seems like lately, you know, I can do I can do something and you can't do the other thing. You know, it happens in school a lot. I tell my students, oh, you want to make fun of somebody, but when they make fun of you, it's not OK. And that seems like what's happening right now is where the two sides. And again, you can have your different opinion. But hey, if if I'm going to have my opinion and if I don't force it on you, you don't force your opinion on me as far as I have to go along with what you say. And if I don't, then I'm some kind of hater. I'm some kind of phobic, you know, against you. You, can, you know, they're always trying to turn the narrative along. Hey, if you don't believe what we do, you're a hater. You don't like us. You're racist, whatever that is. Come on, give me a break. And so, guys, I'm, I don't want this video to start turning sideways. Again, it's just all about turning that thing off, going, God, refresh me. Help me to understand what the topics are. Help me to stand up for what is right. But don't let it get to the point where not, I feel depressed. I feel down because that's never what was God's intention. So today I'm here to just encourage you that God has bigger things than for us to get caught up in a lot of that. Obviously, he wants to stick up for what is right, what's conservative, what's Christian, but never to the point where we lose sight of what the actual point is. It's to live our life, to love God, to tell others, and to stick up for him wherever it is, whether it's at your job, school, work, um, here at home, in your neighborhoods, and that's what I'm going to do. That's why we're here in Tennessee. So I thank you guys so much. If you want to check this video out again, to just see what our journey has been like. It's almost gonna be a year, guys. I'm so excited to say, hey, I've been in Tennessee for a year and that's gonna happen in June, but I'm loving every minute. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, encouraging me, praying for our family. And I'm gonna be bringing you more videos from here in Tennessee. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.